This is Twit. We had an explosive display with uh, Starship's Test Flight 7 That's yesterday. Right. That's right. And, you know, it was halfway good. They caught the booster. Yeah. Which well, yeah. Exciting. Well, th this was this was. Uh, I think all of our news stories this week are from Space.com, but they were very widely covered by other folks. But um, just a day before our podcast recording, SpaceX launched their Starship Flight Seven test flight. So this is their seventh test flight. It's also the first flight of a brand new Starship vehicle. I don't think they're calling it V two, but uh, they kind of had the pro and the con. You know, they they successfully caught the booster uh, again this time with really awesome camera views of the booster coming down from the gantry arm itself, which was crazy, uh, and that seemed to have go very very well. But shortly after that. <laughs> They lost contact with the ship itself, and uh, and so the ship they think had a fuel leak uh, as of the the initial like what is that analysis from Elon Musk, and right. it started a fire that then blew up the vehicle, and we know it blew up because we've got video of the debris falling over Turks and and do you say cacao? Is that how you? Uh, Kaikos, I think. Kaikos, yeah. Uh, and I actually got called by a, a news writer from there last wow, night look to at ask that video. Holy I know, moly. isn't it in this in this video that people are seeing on our on our video stream? It's it's like cell phone video of the rocket going up and then it just explodes. And then in another clip, you see just this huge mass of fiery debris. I mean, the Starship is like a hundred and twenty feet tall. It's really big, and it's just all coming down over these this like a uh, uh, the kind of palm tree area, really really tropical, really lush. Other videos I've seen are people where it's passing right over their house or over ships and boats that they're on. So there is an FAA investigation into this now because this is different than the standing FAA license approval that uh, for failures that they have, which means that you know there's no threat to loss, uh, there's no threat to life, there's no threat to property when you have debris passing over populated areas there is that threat, I would assume. So we're going to have to see how this uh, investigation goes. But it was a brand new version of Starship. Lots of different changes. Uh, more propellant, 25% more pro propellant. New flight computer, different flap design. Uh, a lot of new re-entry heat tile uh, technology. Uh, somewhere, some you know, something caught fire. And, um, and they're going to have to figure it out. Well, so uh, uh, the specifics I read, at least these are the musings of Musk, was that the fuel leak was in the inner tank area. So it would be between yeah. the uh, methane and liquid oxygen tanks and that they think it caught in there. So when asked what he would do, he said, we're going to put a sensor and a fire suppressant system in there, which I guess that'll work. You know, you yeah. think you could just expose it to the vacuum. But whatever the case, uh, that's how he plans to deal with it. And uh, there's been a certain amount of pushback from, you know, on social media about, oh, you know, here Elon takes a giant step backwards and look at look at uh, New Glenn and how well that flew. And it's like, yeah. that's true. But, uh, you know, this was a brand, as you point out, a brand new version of Starship. It's longer. It's got more fuel. It's more powerful. It's more capable, carry more payload so on so on so you know it's basically a new rocket with new yeah. systems in it it's not it, it, not everything scales one to one right so you have to give it a break here and i would just i would just remind everyone and this is a company that lost a nasa payload rocket you know and then six months later you know returned to flight spacex has been building these ships at scale it's not like they don't have another one like already complete and, and ready to come out to, to test again or another so five yeah, exactly, or five. So they, they are going to come back uh, from this. I think that the big question now is how uh, much of a hit will the FAA investigation into this because of the reentry over uh, clearly populated or near populated areas? Uh, will that slow things down more than past failures uh, you know, have, have done? And we'll have to see because that is like a really big concern that the FAA has had since they are fairly close to a populated area where they launch from with the world's largest rocket, you know? And so we're going to have to see how that all goes, but it's interesting you mentioned new Glenn, because I think that's next on our list of, of big stories. So, yeah, and I'll just say, you know, once they start launching from Kennedy, uh, I think they can avoid populated areas mm -hmm. going in an equatorial trajectory. It's that weird Texas launch site that sends them out, you know, over Florida, of course. Yeah. And then, you know, you have to make a decision. Do you go straight and go out through the Caribbean 
where all the friendly countries are, or do you arc south and say, oh, that's Cuba, we don't care, which would be mean, but... <laughs> You know, this well, is Mr. Musk. You never know so, what he's going to do or say. I, I, I think rule number one is don't, you know, build your rocket so it doesn't blow up. <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about a lot of that stuff, right? Because it'll it'll get to space pretty easy. So I'm just... Kind of, that's uh, I'm a not bit cold-hearted. I'm not trying to be mean. I mean, this is this is what they iterate, right? Yeah. They revel, yeah. They revel in their failures so that they can learn. I mean, pretty soon there's going to be a supercut of all the Starship failures. That yeah, yeah. Elon will try. And, and that's okay. Just don't do it over over occupied areas where people yes. get hurt. That's all yes. we're asking, yes. Mr. Musk. Because deep in his heart, I think he really does like humanity in some cold way. All right. Um, <laughs> next up. Watch yourself, Rod. Watch next yourself. up. We're going to get letters. So. <laughs> Hey, all, all PR is good PR. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there. <laughs>